I've been traveling to the Arctic since I was 21 years old. It's in my blood. This is my wife walking down a mountain slope under the midnight sun. We went on a kayaking trip a couple of years ago on the eastern side of Ellesmere Island. And these huge glaciers that had glacial tongues dripping off the sides of the mountains calved these icebergs and bergy bits that provided a beautiful backdrop to our kayaking experience. The water was dead calm. It was just like paddling on a lake on most days. We had a couple of windy days, but the ice provided a platform for animals like this, walrus. Now, this is the eastern population of walrus. There's not a lot of them around. This population is an unhunted population. There are no people living close enough to this part of Ellesmere Island to routinely come over here to these fjords. And so the walrus allowed us close approach. We obviously had to be careful with them because the big males can be aggressive. And a couple of times we had a male like this one swim very fast and aggressively over towards our kayaks. When that happened, we always rafted the kayaks together to provide a stable platform in case the bull walrus became a little too rambunctious. But we never had any negative experiences. As soon as the bull lost his interest in us or satisfied his curiosity, he would go back to his family group like this. There's one in the middle there. He reminds me of my grandfather. <laughs> They're beautiful animals, totally unique. A creature that is also unique is this. This is the ivory gull. And the ivory gull is a pure ice gull living only north of the 60th latitude. These birds are adapted to these cold weather conditions and ice conditions beautifully. And these gulls are here because of an incredible phenomena that was happening right in front of our eyes. Narwhals were pushing a species of fish into the shallow waters. The ivory gulls were picking those fish off the surface. And these narwhals were coming right over to our kayaks. It was a, an incredible experience. Friends of mine that have been to the Arctic time and time again have never seen narwhal like this. Look at that, a double tusker on the right. And then a narwhal came right up in front of me and I was able to videotape. The tusk is at least a meter and a half in length. Right behind me right now are more narwhals. They've been coming and going all night long and they're feeding on huge shoals of what's known as Arctic cod. And one of these cod actually washed up last night. This is it. This is the species of fish that is out there in such numbers that they look like dark clouds moving along through the clear water. A highly specialized Arctic fish. These fish are loaded with oils that provide the nutrient base to not only narwhals, but also bearded seals and a variety of other creatures, including those gulls that we've already looked at. And here we're sitting quietly like corks floating on the water, and a group of narwhal were coming right close towards us. Their exhalations sounded like air pistons. Then they dove right near our kayaks. They went down into the gin clear water and we could see them in the water as we looked down through the clear water, looking up at us, looking at them. There's my wife looking pretty excited as we sat and waited for them to resurface. Right at the end of the day, the sun low in the horizon, pod of narwhal passing some glacial ice.